Well, hello, scholars. Hmm. On my spelling book today, I have a pair of binoculars. Binoculars, so I can see far away, pull things in closer to me. Why would I have a pair of binoculars on my spelling book? Hmm. Ah, just like this person has their binoculars, because we are going to hunt for more than one. So we want to look closely, I guess. All right, binoculars, got to go over here so I can do my work. All right. Match these plural pattern words with the right sentence. Oh, we do this every, 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 um, lesson. So we just have to match the plural words, the pattern words, with the right sentence. Okay, so we're working on vocabulary. V-O-C-A-B-U-L-A-R-Y. We're working on vocabulary. Can we put the right word in the right sentence so it makes sense? Has to make sense. Remember our sentence jingle. Sentences have to make sense. All right, let's read our pattern words. Foxes, glasses, brushes, benches, boxes. Dresses, wishes, lunches, splashes, smashes. Kisses, quenches, sandwiches, classes, ostriches. Do you remember what quenches mean from when we had that word a couple of lessons ago? Quench. Quench means to put out something. Like you quench your thirst with a cool, tall, cold glass of water. Means you get rid of your thirst or you quench the forest fire. Put it out. Most people use it when they're thinking about being thirsty. Quench. Well, let's do a couple of these and see how we fare, okay? All of my birthday came true. All of my birthday foxes, no. First I try to think of a word that would make sense and then I see if it's a pattern word. Maybe you do it a different way. All of my birthday glasses, no. What do you do on birthdays? Oh, you make a wish. Is wish one of our words? Yes, it is, right here. I'm put a little check mark by it. I can hold, put my finger by it to keep my spot. All of my birthday wishes came true. And then when I'm writing, I don't have to find the word again. This will keep my place, kind of like a bookmark does in a book. Wishes, see it, say it, hear it, write it. You ready? Four ways. All right, W, I, S, H, E, S. All of my birthday wishes came true. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's do a couple more together. <coughs> Number two. Penguins and mm, are birds that can't fly. So what's another bird we're talking about? Foxes aren't birds. Oh, ostriches. We were talking about ostriches. So I'm going to look for ostriches. Oh, here it is right here. Put a little check mark by it. Again, I'm going to put my marker there. Just using my finger, it's with me all the time. And then I'm going to write ostriches in the spot. Okay? O-S-T-R-I-C-H. That one's kind of tricky. O-S-T-R-I. T-R-I, ostrich, E-S. We don't spell that word very often, so it kind of looks strange to me. And then I'll do two more, okay? And then you can do the rest by yourself because you are great scholars. The tiger, mm, against the bushes on the path. The tiger foxes, no. What would fit there? The tiger goes against, well, goes isn't one of our words. The tiger glasses against, no. The tiger brushes against the bushes on the, ooh, that makes sense. Like when he's walking, his body brushes against the path. Happens to be one of our words. So I'm going to write it down. You ready? Four ways. See it, say it, hear it, write it. You ready? Begin. B R U S H E S brushes. Hey, I was just thinking, no, we didn't have any rule breakers, but then I re-looked at my words and I got, yeah, the P's rule breaker goes below the line, the Q in quenches. So my first thought was incorrect, but then I checked it out. Let's see, let's do seven. All right, let's do seven. That might give us some problems. 
a good book, mm, your thirst for learning about new things. Now here's the word thirst I talked about just a minute ago. If you're thirsty, you would drink a tall, cool glass of water to get rid of your thirst. Do you remember what word it was that got rid of our thirst? If you said quenches, you're absolutely right. So here they're using that thirst for learning. So you really have a desire. So a good book quenches your thirst for learning about new things. So we're going to write quenches on number seven. You ready? See it? Say it here. Write it. Q. That's a rule breaker, so Q should go down below the line. U. E. N. C. H. E. S. Quenches. Put a little mark by that. Excellent. So we did four of them. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. I will do one more. I will do nine. All right? And then you're on your own because I know you can handle it. The tennis player, mm, the ball as hard as she can, hits. The tennis player hits. Oh, wait a minute. Hits isn't one of our words. So what's another word that can mean hit? Fox, glass, bench, box, dress, lunch, no, splashes, no, smashes, kiss. Ooh, smashes. The tennis player smashes the ball, so she hits it as hard as she can, but they've used this great describing word, smashes. I can picture that super, super hard, more than hits. So smashes. So I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to write it right here. You ready? Let's begin. S M A S H E S. Remember, they all end in suffix E S. Plural, that's what our focus is on. Plural, two or more or more than one. Means the same thing. Excellent. So you're going to go back and do what did we do? We did five out of 15, so you've got 10 more to finish. I know you can do it on your own. Remember, if you get stuck, put a circle around it or a little check mark by it. Do all the rest of them. Don't spend 10, 5, 10 minutes fretting about one. Go do the rest of them or two. Come back and see if you can figure out those two. And if you can't, then you know what to do. Go politely ask mom or dad or big brother, big sister. I've tried really hard to answer these and I just can't figure this one out. Could you help me please? Make sure you use the magic word, please. Now, you might have to wait. They might be busy washing dishes or on a phone call or doing something. So they'll say, okay, just a minute. So wait patiently while you're waiting. You could be singing songs in your head, um, help them with the dishes so they can get done faster. I don't know, whatever. You'll think of something. But the key is politely and patiently ask for that help. And don't sit there and waste all your time on that one. If you get stuck, skip it. If you get stuck on the first one, skip it and go down and fill the ones in you can. Then go back and try the ones you couldn't. I bet you can get them more times than not on your second time around. All right, guys, go out and do great works.